I'm Jane. And I'm Anne. And we are continuing with our recipes, not exactly with the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook today, but with a recipe that we love from the Engine 2 Cookbook, oh, which is... so good. This is totally compliant with our guidelines of preventing and re reversing heart disease. That, hard to say that. Because there are a lot of the recipes in here. Yeah, yeah lots of them are. Um, this is called Texas Armadillo Tater Tots. And if you're following along, it's on page 108. And we love it. It's actually so easy, it's stunning. And I want to thank Amy Mackey for this recipe. Um, what you do is, and Anne's going to work on this, uh, you take potatoes and, uh, not score them, but um, slice them just like this, so they are open like, little, little, like armadillos. little armadillos, but you can't cut all the way through. So proceed with that, if you don't mind, Anne. And um, the topping we put on top of these is made of a really, really simple mixture of, oh, here it is, hummus. And we use Engine 2 hummus here, no added oil, no tahini. And Cajun seasoning, which, um, Amy used originally in this recipe, and she uses about two tablespoons. I've kind of created my own stuff from oregano and some old spice. Here, I'll show you what I made it from. Um, we've got some like red dog rub that has been sitting in our windowsill for so long that half of it's actually been bleached of color, but it still has great flavor. Um, so I add a little bit more. I didn't add two tablespoons exactly, but two tablespoons of that, and then about half a cup of water which I'm going to guess. I'm about to put in a purple potato. It's so fun to have all these different colors and the purple are just so deep and purple and full of phytochemicals and nutrients and then blur it up. If you have a really quick hand you could probably do this with your hand but I'm going to do this with the Cuisinart which I love. And you got to hustle. We're almost ready. Right. Well, we got to hustle. I, well, I, I, I haven't done no, this a you don't, whole you don't, lot. You don't have to score. You don't have to open them. They open themselves in the oven. I don't know. I kind of like having them open because the more stuff that gets in them, the more delicious they are. And actually, Jane, it, Jane sometimes throws the leftover stuff on top of them, and that makes them even better. Done chopping the potatoes, and we have a variety of sizes. They're all pretty small potatoes, and none of them are too big. Aren't these called like B-sized potatoes? I think yeah. they're called B-sized. Um, we have some tinier ones, as you can see, and then some larger ones, but they, they, it cooks for uh, about 45 minutes at 425, so they're, they're cooked through and through. Then you take this batter, this topping with the um, water and the seasoning in it, uh, and the hummus, and just toss this. Toss it all around. There, sometimes there's a little extra batter when uh, you've tossed them and put them on the tray, as we'll do. And that's just the breaks, you know? Sometimes we throw the extra coating batter stuff on the pan with it and bake it, which we all kind of like because it's like extra flavor. Gets it a little crispy on the bottom, which is just so good. Not the potato. She's saying the, the crispy batter. Batter. The batter itself. It's like it's like a baked savory cookie. Okay, oven is ready for these to go in. 425, and <clears throat> we're gonna put that on our parchment line pan, if you will. Okay, so it's, it's tempting to throw all that batter in, but I just, just, just so you guys can see how these turn out, we're going to have it um, not use this extra batter. But it's, again, you can do this, add it in. One time I even took... Don't. Don't get rid of it. Use it. Don't use it? Well. No, use it for sure. One time I took carrots, actually, and I rolled carrots around in there and then baked the carrots with these. It was so delicious. All right, in this goes... We should do that. I did. I mean, now. I know. <laughs> Trying to stick through to the recipe. Get cream, put Brussels sprouts in there. What, whatever you like. Okay, so 45 minutes later. Broccoli. Yeah, okay, ready? 45 minutes, here we go. They're done. Can't They're wait. Done. Can't They're wait. Done. Ooh, 
Look at these wee tater tots. Texas armadillo tater tots. Aren't they so cute? Ooh. Which is, Ooh. what do you think is the so cutest I love, one? Look, I love that crispy. <laughs> oh. um, so uh, what, which is your favorite one? I, I just, I love, oh look, I think that one. Are you, oh, yeah. oh look. Oh. See, that's why it's so key to have all that extra. See the little crispy extra you get? Okay, oh. I, these look like little armadillos. Mm. Aren't they just adorable? I like it with ketchup. You don't like ketchup no. that much. All right, I'm gonna have it. Mm. Wait, oh, this one looks good. Oh my God. All right, wait, before- Oh my God, see, see, look. Oh, look, look at all this wonderful. Yeah, that's what she look. likes, all the extra batter cooked on the bottom. See, oh, isn't that beautiful? All right, hey, you make them how you make them. Enjoy them with ketchup or plain or lots of batter. All right, see you later. Really good. Bye. Bye.